Well, I'd say I was in the minority with this one, which, let's be honest, is not surprising. People love the Final Fantasy series to death, and I did not hold back on any of my criticisms. And, uh, oh boy, did that strike a nerve with some of these fanboys. If this comment doesn't set the mood for what the majority of the comments were like on that video, I don't know what will. Now, while the majority of comments were from said fanboys, there were people that understood where I was coming from, so I appreciate you guys, but most disagreed with what I was saying. With that being said, I do want to address both some of the mistakes that I made within that video, and also respond to the majority of criticisms that people had in the comments. First things first, let's talk about Sephiroth's second cousin. There were no shortage of people that had the decency to let me know that Weiss was the identity of this loser. Apparently, he was one of the main villains in Dirge of Cerberus, and all I really have to say to this criticism is, wow, this really makes no difference at all. This character being Weiss changes absolutely nothing. It's still an ass bowl by Nomura, and here's why. Nomura himself once said that the compilation of Final Fantasy VII wasn't canon to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, all of a sudden, he's including Weiss in the story from this arbitrary spin-off game that nobody played. Just look at this gameplay. Does this look like Final Fantasy to you? A third-person shooter as a Final Fantasy game. Now I see where they got the idea for the Battle Royale. Now, before you guys say anything, it does seem like Nomura only intends for Weiss to be a secret boss that you fight in the Shinra Simulator, so thank God. He did one thing right for once. Who knows, though? We do know how this dude loves to change his mind. Moving on from that, let's address the fact that I read my script wrong like an idiot and said that the whispers were there to prevent the original events from happening when it's really the other way around. Honestly, this was just a brain fart, but making a mistake like that in as critical of a video as this was, was a big mistake. And boy, did the fanboys let me know it. Some people just always got a bitch! The game was phenomenal! Your the voice is pretty annoying, and I think you have no idea what you're talking about. You don't just know what's going on. You're going to be better than the video. It's a video of 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 the video. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Listen, yes, I made some mistakes, and I can own up to them, but to disregard the entire video because of some missteps I made, especially when one of those missteps was because I didn't play this garbage third-person shooter that's branded as Final Fantasy, seriously, who made this? Then you got Tweedledee and Tweedledum over here. This is your favorite Final Fantasy game? Not Final Fantasy VI? Not X? This? You must not be a hardcore Final Fantasy fan, like myself and Bayshin. Am I right, Bayshin? See, a lot of people were acting like I absolutely despise Remake. In the video, I discuss how much I loved the changes to the combat. I'm not like this guy, who can't objectively look at a game and see that, wow, this was changed for the better. The combat is amazing. The graphics are amazing. But gameplay and graphics are just two pieces to the puzzle, when the third, and arguably the most important puzzle piece, the plot, is garbage, the whole thing falls apart. And I think this is where a lot of people just have to agree to disagree. If you like The Whispers, you're already too far gone, and you should really think about- uh, Nope, uh, can't say that. If you like The Whispers, you might as well click off this video. Exit YouTube, do anything else rather than watch this video. Because you and I don't see eye to eye. I will never understand how some people think The Whispers were this mind-blowing change by Square and sing its praises as, wow, I never saw that coming, when it's really more like, wow, I never saw that coming. They just ruined Final Fantasy. Some comments, absolutely grasping at straws, started telling me that I don't know the difference between remake and remaster. This was a remake, they said. They're supposed to change the story. Meanwhile, one search later, let me just set these people straight real quick on what constitutes a remake since they're so keen on telling me the difference. Do you guys know Tomb Raider? Was that game considered a remake when it came out? No. It was considered a reboot. Why? It was going to take a completely new approach to the story, the mechanics, everything. It was going to be an entirely different game. Remakes don't do this. Like I said before, they tell the same story as the original. You still got your fancy graphics and updated combat, but remakes tell the same story as the original. If anything, this Final Fantasy VII remake 
should be thrown in the reboot category or even categorized as a reimagining because this game is a sequel. So this game should not be titled Final Fantasy VII Remake. So all you people in the comments going, Murder! It's a remake, not a remaster! You were bamboozled. GG, you suckled on Square's tit for too long. So again, I ask you, why is this game titled Final Fantasy VII Remake? I'll tell you why. Money. If I knew this game was a sequel beforehand, and considering Square's track record of making games lately is not very good, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But again, that's just me. I just think it's kind of deceptive to have titled this game Remake, but whatever. Let's switch gears here and look at the comments that had more to say than just complain about the fact that I was complaining. Now, this comment is a big reason why I think Final Fantasy is headed down a slippery slope. Here are the three big sins that I believe this comment section committed. Number one, I loved the filler content. That's a doozy of a statement in and of itself. And then there's more content is good. Again, there were some aspects of the filler I enjoyed. But when you're expanding on a character that had one or two lines in the original game, that's where I'm gonna draw the line. Like, come on guys, I'm sorry, but if you enjoyed Don Corneo's bodyguard's backstory, or the train graveyard sequence, or this shitty underground section where you fight this dumbass looking boss, or this stupid dance sequence, click off the video, cause I don't know what to tell you. More doesn't always mean good, and I think that's a big reason why Final Fantasy, especially 7, could start to go on a decline over the years. 2. I love the episodic content, or how do you expect them to make a remake other than charge you $600? Hello? Now, if this isn't the epitome of a cow getting milked, I don't know what is. Yes, they could make this remake for less than charging you $600. Are they going to when people like yourself are going to pay endless amounts of money for the next installment? Of course not. And three, you can't say they're screwing over the fanbase if the fanbase mostly enjoys it. Here's the big catch-22 though. The fanbase, clearly, is going to eat up anything Final Fantasy VII. I hate to bring up Kingdom Hearts again, but it makes a great comparison, considering the two franchises have so much in common nowadays. People enjoyed pretty much anything Kingdom Hearts, but with the 5th, 6th, 7th game released, that mentality changed. Eventually, people weren't so happy with the 10th Kingdom Hearts game that was released. Could you say that Square was screwing over the fanbase when they were just putting out Kingdom Hearts content and fans were enjoying the new Kingdom Hearts games that were released? At least initially? Now, yes, I'm making a lot of assumptions here in that I'm saying Final Fantasy will probably end up to be like the Kingdom Hearts series. But when we consider that both series had the same director, and the fact that Final Fantasy VII is about to see a lot more games released within its compilation, I really don't think that assessment is too far off. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Stop! When the consensus from the fanbase is quite literally, more is good, they will be making more than just three of these episodes, let's not kid ourselves, and they've already got their first DLC coming out when they've only released a single episode. If you're a fan of this, great. But I'm not willing to spend $600 just to get the full story for a series that I no longer care about. Now, I want to take a look at classy crustachios, crustachio, whatever. Let's look at his comment. If only because I think it would be funny to break down, and also because this dude is anything but classy. This guy is pretty much the representative of everyone that had a problem with my video. He has an excuse for everything unholy that Square has done to this franchise. It being episodic, come on man, they're expanding the story by giving us a cross-dressing section that was at least four hours. How could you not absolutely love that? Those mobile games, they're free to play. Oh, and the microtransactions within them? You don't have to get them dumb dumb. Like honestly, the fact that people are okay with microtransactions in any sort of Final Fantasy game, regardless of it being mobile, is so absolutely ridiculous. This is a single player game, people. Remember when people were getting pissed about Shadow of War having loot boxes? There was so much backlash that they were straight up removed from the game. What's the difference here? They're both single-player experiences, both games have no business having a shop within either of them, and yet Classy Crustacio and many others are okay with there being loot boxes, and the sole reason they're okay with it is because it's Final Fantasy. Oh, and God forbid anyone criticize Final Fantasy.
It's one of the testaments in their little Final Fantasy Bible they bought from Square Enix at the low price of $499. Thou shalt not think for thyself, that's the name of the commandment. I mean, just one look at this guy's channel and him gasping at every single little thing within the trailers. <gasps> it's Nibelheim. <gasps> spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. It's Cloud as a kid. We are getting Nibelheim. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> He's beautiful. You can just tell, not very classy Crustaceo loves Final Fantasy to death. And I get it. I like the series too. But man. Being okay with microtransactions in a Final Fantasy game is not a path I want to go down, regardless of whether they block progress or not. Yeah, they milked it, and you can tell at some parts, but at the same time, I enjoyed it a lot. Milking isn't bad if it was enjoyable. <sighs> I rest my case. <laughs>